I'm very proud that my kids are uh, practicing Jews. My son goes to Chabad in the Beverly Hills. He called me, I'd say, six months ago and was telling me he was coming, walking with his friend who had a Star of David on. And this gentleman came up and grabbed his Star of David and spit in his face. As a mother, I was so angry, but I was also in fear of this is happening in Beverly Hills. If this can happen in Beverly Hills, it can happen anywhere. And me being on the other side of the country, having to worry about my son's safety, is not something any mother would want to endure, or any, any parent for that matter. So there's a lot of great things going on. I've been appointed to the New Jersey Israeli Commission by the governor. It's one of our few appointments that he's approved in South Jersey. So I'm excited that I'm going to be working hand in hand to help bring business development from Israel. Um, another thing that I'm very proud of is, I don't know if you've heard the name Esther Rob. Anybody heard of Esther? The, the play Dear Esther? So the play Dear Esther, I had the privilege of meeting, uh, he's actually my landlord. I was talking to him, his name's Marvin Rob. And somehow it came up that his mother was a Holocaust survivor. I did not know that. He's been my landlord for a couple of years. So a couple days later, he said there's a play that's going to be happening in a Catholic school, which I thought was very unique. Um, it was his mother's play that he has spent a lot of money on making sure that they get the education out to all the kids in the school of New Jersey about Holocaust survivors. She is part of the concentration camp, I'm sure you've all heard of, the death camp, Savi Bor. Um, she helped free that camp. I went to see this play amongst all these kids. You could hear a pen drop. Probably wasn't a dry eye in, in the room. It was so moving to see that these kids were responsive and to meet their son. It was called Esther's Revenge. The way they ended it, it showed Esther and all her children. But we all try to teach our kids that there's three, three things that you can do when you see bad things happening. You can either participate in it, you can ignore it, or you can do something about it. So I'm hoping that everybody lives with that message and we teach it to our kids. And I feel like I'm that voice. I feel like I'm that voice for my district. I feel like I'm that voice for my state. So I'm looking forward to continuing with the foundation, with the rabbi and the doctor, that anything that I can do to help with legislation, I am here because I'm very proud to be a Jewish woman. And thank you for having me tonight.